We are live right here at the Word Network. Welcome. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And the rest of that verse says, send now prosperity. I mean, whatever goes on in that day, we say, Lord, send prosperity. That don't necessarily mean money. Uh, prosper us in our home. Prosper us in our marriage. Prosper us in our, in our relationship. Just prosper us. And you know what? I love what Cindy Trim says. She said, any day above ground zero is a great day. It is a great day to be alive today. We are live right now at Your Word Network, and this is a brand new show uh, that you've been watching all week long. It is our inaugural week of the Greg Davis Live. I want to thank uh, Mr. Kevin Adele. Thank you so much, sir, for allowing us to come live every day, and uh, something that uh, we talked about, and it is now manifestation. God has blessed us to come across the world. 90 million homes right now. 200 countries right from this place, right? God is so awesome. You don't realize how blessed I am. I am the son of a prostitute. Uh, my mother raised me in New York City, and until I was nine years old, came to Detroit to be with my grandparents, which was Reverend Ananias Davis. That's how I met the Lord. And as the old folk would say, I've been running ever since. But to sit here, uh, many of you, uh, you, you're in whatever situation you're in today, and that's what our guest is going to talk about. He's going, he's going, we got a guest today that's going to move you somewhere, uh, move you from where you are to where you should be. And whatever discouragement is in your life today, it's got to move. But I'm grateful to sit here because God can choose anybody. Uh, I'm not perfect. I'm flawed. I'm blemished. And uh, so are many of us, many of us that, that, preach the gospel. It's not that we're here because we're perfect, but we said yes to the Lord in spite of all of our flaws and all of our shortcomings. So I'm so grateful that God would use me to reach all over the country. I want to uh, congratulate my sister at 430 today. If you're watching this live, if you're not, if it's, if it's re-aired, uh, because the anointing is the same no matter when, I want to congratulate uh, Prophetess Teresa Cox. She'll be live every day at 4.30 p.m. Uh, so something is happening at the Word Network. The anointing of God is falling, and we are so grateful. There are men and women of God. This is what I love about the Word Network. Everyone that's answering your calls, there are men and women of God that are trained to pray for you, that are trained to counsel you. If you are watching right now, we are live at 1 p.m. They're there to pray for you right now. So pick up the phone at 855 730 word 855 730 word i i'm inviting men and women of god and authors and psalmists that that god is using across this country some of you will know some of you won't to speak into your life and when this program is over today we're going to the prayer room and we're going to pray for you we're going to speak into your life the man of god that's here today also before i introduce him i'm believing god god is helping me to raise up an army as many of you know i believe in the ministry of healing I believe in the ministry of healing. God told me to lay hands on the sick and they will recover. And uh, I've been doing that for almost 30 years and I've been preaching for 30 years. But the healing ministry, just about 30 years now, God has given me and people have been delivered and set free. Well, over the summertime, me and uh, the Word Network partnered up and we've come out with what's called the healing Bible. Now, the Bible is not going to lay hands on you. No, this Bible is specifically for those that believe God for healing, not just healing in your body, but believe God that you have a healing ministry. I want to raise up 390 people, 39 stripes Jesus was healed with. I want to raise up 390 people across this country that will touch and agree with me, that will lay hands on the sick, that will come to Detroit for some of my first Wednesday uh, healing services that I'll have right here in this studio uh, beginning the first uh, Wednesday of every month at 8 p.m. We are live. You can come here. But I want you to get this Bible. In the beginning of the Bible, the first three pages, I've picked up scriptures already, already that you can read daily. Or if you're praying for the sick or if you're going to the hospital, whatever the case may be, it's in this Bible. And then, of course, it's the study Bible. There's 27 other books other than the 66. We're going to have a commercial in a little while. It's going to tell you more how you can get it. But in addition to that, I'm going to give you a prayer cloth and I'm going to give you Let the Healing Begin, part number two for a seed of 109 to be a part of this great healing ministry. So we'll tell you more about that. My friend is here. He is the bishop of a great church uh, in Chicago, Illinois. I've had the opportunity to minister for him several times in Chicago, Illinois. 
and uh, his name is Bishop Jeff Davis. His lovely wife is here along with the assistant, and they drove down from Chicago, and he's clean as usual. <laughs> Bishop Jeff hey. Davis, welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me. You are a blessing to the body, and he can preach to you. <laughs> I'm going to turn you loose. T tell us the name of the church and where it's at. The Word Works Church on the great west side of Chicago, the best side of Chicago, 535 North Cicero, and our services start at 9 o'clock on Sunday morning. If you're looking for a place in Chicago now, you're going to Dallas, too. Is it Dallas? Yeah, you getting ready to start something in Dallas? Getting ready to launch out in Dallas in the next few months. So if you're in the Dallas area, God is sending a great, great ministry there. I want to turn you loose. I want you to speak into the people's lives in the midst of this trumped-up society. <laughs> <laughs> this trumped-up society that we are in. The people need a word from the Lord. Hopefully, I'll be back Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, next week, yes, and sir. on and on. So I want to I wanna release you, and I'm going to just interject here and there. Yes, I'm going to release you to speak to the people of God today. Uh, uh, Bishop, uh, last night, the uh, Lord spoke to me. Just so many people that are weary. And he spoke to me, uh, Psalms 27 and 13, where it says, I had fainted, mm -hmm. lest I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And uh, the word faint means to lose courage. We're in a desperate time now where there's so many people uh, in the body of Christ who's been in Christ their whole life, and I'm seeing them just quit, just quit. I'm saying uh, the stress, come on pastors to stop. I'm saying believers in the ranks just quit. And I, I believe that uh, the reason why the enemy is coming so hard with exhaustion and things of that nature is because the believers are so close to what God has promised them individually and collectively until the only way we won't get it is if we quit. We got to believe to see it and not see it to believe it. And I believe it's, it's the hope that keeps us going. I just came out of one of the roughest seasons of my life, but it was the hope that uh, the promise that God made me that it would get better. And better is here. I mean, the fact that I'm sitting here with you, it shows that better is here that better is here. And I just believe that exhaustion and weariness is attacking the body of Christ. And that's why God is allowing your show to be on every day because we need it. We need it. We're, we're falling by the wayside. People are leaving church. They're leaving not just Pastors church. Pastors are quitting. Pastors are quitting. Literally, I heard of a pastor, I believe, in North Carolina just just walked away from his pulpit because he's tired. He's tired. He's tired. Just weary. He's just I've never weary. heard of things like that. He, he's tired. And, and um, if I can be honest, I've been there. Yeah. Where well, I could have just wanted to say, you know what, I'm done. Yeah. But that's what the, the enemy wants us to do. It's not about the stuff because stuff comes, stuff goes. It's a, I believe we've forgotten that we are in a war. Yeah. We're in a war for our lives, for our very souls. And if the enemy can get us to walk away from God, then he'll get us out of the territory that we win in. And I just believe that uh, today uh, there are people that are watching us who are, who are saying, you know what, I'm just tired. I I'm not even getting up uh, tomorrow. I'm, I'm, I'm tired today. My I don't know. I don't care what happens. And, and I'm saying to them, today ain't the day to quit. You got to believe to see that it's going to get, it's got to get better. Uh, if you're breathing, it's got to get better. Daniel 9 and 25 says, he comes to wear out. Yes. The saints of the Most High God. Yes, yes. The devil. Yes, that's his job. Yeah, and, and, and it starts <laughs> in the mind. In the mind. Yeah, I, and, and while you were talking, I, I just, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Every day I come here, I, I don't know how the Lord is going. I just, I'm open, but I want to talk to, uh, we need to zero in on some, some leaders. Yes, sir. Some pastors that's getting weary because they're quitting. They're giving up. And that number on the bottom of the screen, 855-730-WORD. We want to pray for those today that are getting exhausted. Yes. That's what you said yes. to me in the green. Yes. Today when we go to the phone lines, we're going to the phone lines, we want to prophesy and speak into the lives of those that are getting exhausted, that's getting weary and well-doing, that feel like giving up. It's so funny that you said this. I'm going to turn it back to you. But my post yesterday, I do a one o'clock encouragement. If you're not following me, follow me at Bishop Greg Davis. But I, I, I did a post at one o'clock yesterday. It's called Go Get It uh, Encouraging Post. And I said two words, stop stopping. That's stop it. stopping. 
two two of the same words just add, <laughs> add you know stop yeah, stop stopping stopping stop stopping you you get started and then you stop you you you, you have an idea you said tomorrow then you yeah. stop stop stopping that is the word it's a simple two words and man, people start liking it, and I'm like, it's go ahead, Bishop. A uh, 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 prophet in our city, Prophet Karen Evans, and I want to give her credit for saying it. You said stop stopping. She said something that changed my day one day. She said, quit quitting. Yeah, same thing. Same thing. Yeah. We, we've got to we got to get our resolve back to know uh, what we have in us. We don't quit. We the greater is in us, mm -hmm. and um, uh, for those leaders, those pastors. I think some of the exhaustion comes from trying to be uh, uh, who you're not. You just got to be who you are. You know, we got to know our grace. Everybody can't handle ten thousand. Everybody can't handle five thousand. You, you got to handle what you got, and 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 to know that God is with you, and uh, to know that uh, people may not always say they appreciate you, but to be taken for granted is a compliment. That means that they know you're going that you're doing the job, and and we need our pastors. We need our leaders. Uh, we need people uh, that are going to be there. We know we're going to be there. I know that they're going to be there. Most pastors uh, are, are exhausted because they're trying to do things that they're not graced to do. And one thing I did, I stopped doing what I should not be doing. I'm, I'm, not, a, 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 um, I'm not an accountant. Mm -hmm. So I don't I don't count. <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. I preach. Preaching is what I do, uh, you know, and I think exhaustion comes from operating outside of our grace. And, and, and when you get outside of your grace, you start comparing yourself. You want to be like somebody else. You, you get jealous of people. And that's not it because we need everybody on every level. Everybody's not going to go to the mega church. There are some people who won't even go to a church with 500 people in it. They'll tell you, I need to be in a church that only got 30, 40, 50 people. We need all of our pastors. We need all of them. We need all of our ministry leaders. We don't need you going back. Somebody said to me, uh, my schedule is like this. I wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I do a radio show at 5 from 5 to 6 a.m. right here in this building, local radio show on uh, Word Network's uh, radio station. I go home and lay down a couple of more hours. I get up and walk, run five miles or ride my bike. I get dressed, get ready to come here. I stop by Starbucks and get me a Frappuccino. I come here and do this live show, and then I still have all phone calls and stuff that I'm doing all in between that. Somebody say, Oh, I couldn't do that. Radio in the morning, TV in that. That tells me one thing. You're not graced for it. You're not graced for it. Because whatever you, my pastor does 10 services on the weekend, and it's like it's nothing. Other people are like, ooh, you need to combine them. <laughs> you're not graced for it. Not graced. You got to know what you're graced for, because when you're graced for it, you don't complain about it. I'm not saying you don't get tired because we're in a physical body. Right. But when you are graced for it, then you have sufficient to finish. Some people come here and they, they sit in front of this camera right here, this camera right here, and they freeze up. Oh, they, I, I. For me, it's like second nature to me. It, it's, it's, it's what I do. I don't, I don't feel, somebody asks me, I say, are you nervous? I'm, I'm never nervous sitting in front of this camera. N never nervous. Never yes. nervous because why? I am graceful. When we come back, Pastor Bishop Jeff Davis is going to continue telling you not to be exhausted. Stop stopping. I want everybody... There's about 100 of you that's out there right now. You feel like giving up. You feel like throwing in the towel. I want you to know that help is here right now. 855-730-WORD. We're going to commercial, tell you how you can be a part of this great healing ministry that we're doing. Hi, Mr. Greg Davis, and I want to introduce to you the very special Healing Bible. That's right. I have designed a Bible along with the Word Network that is called the Healing Bible. Inside this Bible are scriptures that I have specially picked out of the Word of God to speak into your life for your healing. Spiritually, financial healing, mental healing, whatever it is, you need to get this Bible in your hand. Let me tell you something. It's a topical reference Bible that you can study the Word of God, but then there are 27 other books inside the Bible. Right now, I want to send it to you, the Healing Bible, along with the prayer cloth, along with Let the Healing Begin CD Part 2. All these three for $109. So a seat of $109. Chose nine because nine represents healing. And he healed them all. 39 stripes. He was healed with 39 stripes. $109. Order now the Healing Bible Package. Do it right now. $109. 
390 of you right now. God told me it's 390 of you that will join me in this healing revolution as we pray for healing of the mind, body, and soul. Uh, let the healing begin. Let it begin. And so I want to send you the healing Bible package. Some of you have the journal and you have let the healing begin part one. Healing and Meditation CD, I want to send you part two. Healing Meditation CD that I am uh, decreeing and declaring daily. There's music on here also. I want to send you the prayer cloth that you can carry with you everywhere you go. And of course, and the Bible says, and he healed them all. Brand new healing Bible inside the first three pages are scriptures that I have taken so that you won't have to look for them. When you in the hospital and you need healing scriptures to say over somebody, it's in the Bible already. 27 other books on miracles and all kinds, uh, God, the, the name of Jesus, in this Bible. one uh, one 730 word for a seed of $109. Bishop? Yes, sir. People are getting exhausted. What should they do? What did you do? You said you felt like giving up. You got exhausted. When I felt like giving up, the hardest thing for for a person like myself with that A-type personality that likes to just keep going and keep going, I had to admit to myself, I had nothing left. I had to come to grips with the fact that I couldn't help anybody because I didn't have anything to help anybody with. And I just stopped. And, 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 and I had to talk to somebody. And, and, and I got a pastor. Every pastor needs a pastor. Mm -hmm. Every person needs a pastor. And I had to talk to my pastor and let him know how I was feeling. And, and he gave me the wisdom on how to handle that season. And uh, I wasn't resting good because I like to get up early and do a whole lot, never take a nap. Wasn't resting good, wasn't eating good. Uh, I exercised every day, wasn't doing that like I should to the degree that I was used to it. And I just stopped and slowed everything down and anything that was not uh, important. And when I say important, anything that I could do without, I stopped doing. I, I stopped doing. I'm married, I got, I got uh, daughters that are grown, that their lives are changing. And uh, my attention needed to shift, and I was exhausted because I was still trying to approach life from a point that I was no longer at. And you can't be everything to everybody. Sometimes you're going to have to say no. Sometimes you just can't be there. And um, ministry doesn't mean that I'm at everything, doing everything. I'm everything there. It means that I do what I'm good at, and that, that I ain't good at, I let somebody else do. And uh, I believe the, the, the crucial point is when you know you've lost the joy of your salvation. Talk to him. When yeah. you are no longer happy preaching, when you are no longer happy singing and serving and doing what you're doing, even just coming to church, when you know you've lost that, sometimes it has nothing to do with the church or the pastor. Sometimes it has to do with the fact that you've just gotten to a point where you, you're empty and you need to be filled and you need to stop and say that you're empty. People don't know you're empty when you're still dressing up and you're still putting on the stuff and still able to preach. Because we can preach on empty. We got good sermons we can preach on empty. The thing is, you, you, gotta, you never know what's going on behind a person's eyes. And, and just because I look strong don't mean I'm strong. And as long as you keep acting like you're strong, people are going to treat you like you're strong. And when you're exhausted, you just got to come to grips. I'm tired. I'm, you need a break. And when you need a break, Jesus said, come unto me. Yeah. All you that labor and heavy laden, I'll give you rest. He said, my yoke is easy, my burden is light. And, and there are many of you today, you're saying, I'm just exhausted. I, I, I can't make it. You can make it. You just can't make it any further in the strength that you don't in have left. Yeah. You can't make it in your own strength. And, and this program today on the Word Network is taking resources. If you know we're speaking to you, you need to sow a seed today. You need to sow a seed, a $39 seed, a $49 seed, a $59 seed, this $109 seed. You need to call because literally God is using this show to save your life, to save your spiritual walk. There's a pastor who won't walk away from his church now because he knows he got enough courage to go in and say, you know what? I'm just tired. I need to let somebody else preach today. Uh, there's a singer who's saying, you know what? It ain't that I don't want to sing gospel no more. I just, I need to take a break. I need to get my spirit filled up so I can pour out some more. And, and, and know, the, know where to go to get poured into. You can't go to other empty people. Yeah. Right now, I sense the Holy Ghost in this place for those leaders. And so many times we think Christian television is a farce. We think Christian television uh, people on the other side, they're just talking to be talking. Mm. But let me tell you something. Today's program, at the end of this week, at the end of this journey, 
This is for those that are weary. We're talking to somebody out there that's watching right now. You are just exhausted. I said yesterday, on yesterday's program, I said there was a woman that was cleaning up and she was sitting on the bed and she began to cry because we talked to that woman called Praise the prayer God. room. That's why we go back to the prayer room. Today is a day to recharge you, to get your joy back. Pastor, you, you, you're so mad, you don't even know what you're preaching Sunday. Somebody right now, you're a business owner, you're about to lock the doors of the business because you just feel like giving up. I, I heard the man of God say, and, and, and I bear witness, those of you today that would call, I want you to sow a seed of 39, 49, but I want you to put nine in it because nine. God is, I heard you, because God, 30, 39, 39 stripes was Jesus healed with. And I believe God is healing you today. If you could sow that seed of $39 today for your weariness. Today's healing today is for weariness. For weariness. God is healing you of weariness. Don't be weary in well doing. You can only be weary when you're doing well. Now, some of y'all saying, this ain't for me because I ain't tired. Because you ain't doing nothing. <laughs> if this don't hit you, go ahead, turn the channel, go somewhere else. But it's some of us that's tired. We're tired because... You know what? If it was just about preaching, it would be okay. Yeah. yeah. But it's the little foxes on the line yeah. Yeah. that destroys the vine. Yes, sir. I, I guarantee you that if I say to you every time you get the choir together, then the praise team acts yes, up. Yes, sir. When the praise team acts up, then the, the greeters yes, act sir. up. Yes, sir. And when the greeters uh, get together, <laughs> then the finances yes, sir. get messed up. That's what wears at you. Somebody, your children is wearing you out. Then you get your children together. Then here come the marriage. You get the marriage together and you go to work and there's mm -hmm. Betty at that side in that other cubicle that's getting on your nerves. I use Betty to protect the innocent. Uh, names have been changed to protect the innocent. <laughs> Whatever it is, you are weary. So we are praying today when we go to the prayer room at 855-730-WORD. Now I believe that whenever you come before the Lord in the Bible, they always brought a what? A brought seed. A seed. So I'm asking those of you, no less than $39 a day. You're saying, God, I, I, I need you to take this tiredness away. I need you to, I'm, I'm just woe out worrying about bills. If what you have in your hand is not enough to do your dream, that means it's a seed toward your dream. So today, yes. we are going, me and Bishop, me and Bishop Jeff, yes, we're sir. going to the prayer room today. As soon as we get out of here, as, as I take all my guests, and we want to pray for heaviness. Matter of fact, there is a pastor sitting at your desk That's right now Bishop. watching this program. You're sitting at your desk and you are just flicking. You say, you know what? I'm going to just take a break and I'm going to just get poured in. Well, God sent us, sent him from 94 down the highway to tell you, man of God, you're not quitting. You're not stopping. I sense this by the Holy Ghost. We didn't sit down here to do this, but you're not giving up. You're not quitting. You're not, you're not letting the finances take you under. You're uh, going to take, matter of fact, you're going to take a check from your church and you're going to write a seed and you're going to ask God. You're going to say, God, I need you to restore the joy. You're going to get your vision back out. You're going to stop saying, yes, yes, yeah, yeah. You, yes. you're gonna, I'm, I'm going to give it back to you. No, no, go ahead, I go ahead. Something. You're going to get your vision back. You, you're going to get your vision bored out and you're going to be able to write your vision again. Because you gave up on your original intent. God is about to take you to your original intent. You're about to get your focus back because you lost it because everybody around you was wearing you out. We got about four minutes. But God said, don't be weary in well-doing. God said, we're going to the prayer room. Those of you that were so that $39, Bishop Jeff said 39 49 but put not... I don't care today if it's $9, whatever it is, put nine, because God is healing you of weariness today. Bishop, I'm sorry. No, go, we're go fine. I, I, as you were speaking, I, I sense that there are, at least, there are at least 50 pastors. Yeah. And there are at least 200 people that are watching us that are not watching by mistake. They're watching us because it's been a sign for them to see this. And they need to know how valuable they are to the kingdom. That if they quit, people won't come. That if that pastor gets up there Sunday and says, I'm done. There are lives hanging in the balance. There are people that if they quit, God, their families will never be saved. And they need to call in. 
with that prayer request. They need to sow that seed. And I'm serious uh, because this is so real today. Uh, they're, they're, the, my next book that I'm writing, God made me live it over the last 18 months. He made me and live I talked it. talked to you in between there. In between. And didn't even know that you were going. Because we don't, we're afraid to share with one another. Right. Don't think because we're sitting here on this set that we don't go through the same kind of problems, we got the same kind of stuff. The only thing is we put our, put our clothes on and we, we come at it again. And that's what we want to tell somebody. Pastors are quitting at alarming numbers. He said there's 50 pastors. And pastor, we tell everybody else to sow. We tell everybody else to give a seed. We line people up. We tell everybody to give a tithe. Give to something yeah. that's big. You will never reach 90 million homes. You will never reach 200 countries. But you can, as my grandfather used to say, uh, when people couldn't go to church with him that afternoon when they had to go preach, send go. Send your seed to send the anointing yeah. across this world. And as you send it, God is going to give you your vision back. God's going to give you your vision back. God's going to give you your dreams back. Write the vision. Make it plain right now. We got about two minutes. I'm going to give you one of them. Bishop, I hear God saying, let your seed save your life. Say it again. Let your seed save your life today. And I know people. There's a pastor uh, right now. There's a pastor. You're getting ready to do a building project. And I don't play with this. You're getting ready to do a building project. You need to give a seed of $1,009. As a pastor, you're getting ready to do a building project. You see this? Over the summer, that's why we haven't been broadcasting. You see this? With screens, we remodeled this place. You don't even know it. I'm honored to be the first broadcaster to be on here. Putting money back into it. So into what's, what you see, what you can see with your eyes that's improving. You want God to build yours? Send a seed to something bigger than yours. You know why I'm here today? Because I sold into something. People don't even know. When I first started doing Rejoicing in the Word years ago, I would fly from Delaware. I would fly into Detroit. My church would help me come here. I'd pay my own way. So into Pastor 1,000. Yeah, yeah. We got 30 seconds. Come on, close it. I'm going to close it with this. God will put people in your path at the right time when he know you need it the most. Today is not an accident. Bishop inviting me is not an accident. We're talking to you because you need this. And you need to be honest enough to call in 855-730-WORD. Ask for prayer. Sow a seed. So that if you ever get to this place again, this show can be here. This station can be here. And we're praying that you make it. You got to make it because we need you. And we're not going to pray right now. We, I used to pray then, but we're going to the prayer room. Pastors, I want to pray with you. Bishop wants to pray with you. The prayer warriors, if you can't get us, those people that are there, they're trained to pray with you too. Don't just want to talk to us. They can pray with you, too. But we're going to be there as long as you call. Yesterday, we stayed an hour after. My God. 855-730-WORD. Those of you that want to be a part of those 390 that's going to stand with me with the healing army, we want to send that $109. We'll send the CD. We'll send the prayer cloth. We'll send the Bible, the healing Bible. Many of you have done it already. We prayed over them when Pastor Gabby was here. Every Bible that goes out has been prayed on. Listen, 855-730-WORD. What are we praying for today? Weary. Get your vision back. Get your dream back. The dreamers are coming. God's raising up an army of dreamers that will do what God has called you to do. Stop letting people wear you out. We're getting ready to go, y'all. Bishop, where's your church at? Ten seconds. 535 North Cicero, 9 a.m. in Chicago, Illinois. The Word Works Church. Chicago, Illinois. Bishop Jeff Davis, y'all. We're going to the prayer room right now. We're out of here. We'll see you. See you next time right here on Greg Davis Live, the Word Network.